Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Guild Wars 2 running on the Apple Silicon Mac. So this is the Windows version running through Steam and this is kind of the updated version that's been built for the new Steam client. And because the Guild Wars 2 Mac port has been deprecated, then this is going to be one of the only ways to be able to play Guild Wars 2 on Apple Silicon hardware. And we're going to be using a compatibility layer called Crossover and this is going to be running through DirectX to Molten VK. So you can see this DXVK HUD here, which has given us all this frame rate information. And basically this is going to be a tutorial about how to set up crossover, how to get Guild Wars 2 running and showing off some of the other options too. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first step is going to be to click the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link for Crossover. If you do make a purchase through this link, then you'll be helping to support the channel and the work that I do. So once you get to the Crossover website, what you can do is scroll down and then we can go ahead and click the Buy Now button and you'll be taken to the Purchase page. So what we're interested in is Crossover Plus, which is the main Crossover product. So this entitles you to the Crossover 22 license, which is the current one at the time of recording. If Crossover releases an additional in the future, for example, crossover 23 next year, then you're going to be able to get that as well. And currently the price for this is $74. However, if you type in the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki and then the arrow button, you're going to be able to get a 25% discount. Also, once you've made a purchase, you can go into your account and then go to my account here. If you click on support licenses and then renew now, and then you find your current license and click renew now, you'll be able to get $40 off your renewal price too. So if you follow the link in the description and you make a purchase or a renewal, then I'll earn a small commission and you'll be helping to support the channel and the content that I create. You can also do this renewal multiple times and renew many years into the future at a discounted Right. However, what you can also do is go back to the main page and then click the try now button. And this is going to give you a 14 day free trial. If you do decide to make a purchase, then please make sure to follow the affiliate link at the top of the description. Here, we're going to press try now. So here we're going to enter our name and email address and then click the download trial now button. So once the file is downloaded, we can go to our finder and then we're going to go to our downloads folder. So now that we have crossover downloaded, we're going to go ahead and double click on the zip file. And once that has extracted, what we're going to do is to hold on the file itself and then drag and drop it into our applications folder and then let go. So within applications, we're going to scroll down and find our crossover application and double click. So what we're going to do now is click the install button and then we're going to install Steam. So if it's not here, then you can type it into the search bar here and then we can find the Steam button here. And then we're going to go ahead and press the install button. And this is going to install and create the bottle defaults for us so that we can get Windows version of Steam running on the Mac. So whenever a pop-up window comes up like this, press press yes, it's just installing some fonts. Here we're going to press next and accept all the terms and agreements. Just press next here and then install, press finish. So this is now the Windows Steam setup window. I'm gonna press next and then we're gonna install this in its default location and then press run Steam. And now Steam is downloading here and also the bottle, which is where the software is located, is also listed here as well. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and complete the Steam setup installation. So now we're gonna go ahead and log into our Steam account. If you don't have a Steam account, you can create one for free here. So here Steam Guard is asking us for confirmation code. I'm gonna go into my email account and then type in the one that's been emailed to me now. Then press finish. So now we just wait for Steam to load up. It just takes a few moments. So now the Steam software has loaded up. We can go ahead and install any Windows versions of games that we want. So we're just going to come back to the crossover bottle window here. One of the main things that you should be aware of is that you should turn on DXVK, especially if we're running any particular games that use DirectX 10 or 11. And this will provide compatibility. That's the main tip. So here we're going to full screen Steam. Then we're going to do a search for Guild Wars 2. And then we're going to select this. And then what we're going to do is to click play games. So this is free to play, so there's nothing to purchase. What we're going to do is just download it onto the computer. So just press next. So just make sure you've got 64 gigabytes of space free. So this has started the download process. So just let that complete first. And basically once Guild Wars 2 has downloaded, we're going to press the play button and that's going to allow us to launch the game. Here the remaining files are playing. Here I'm signing in through Steam after entering my username. Here I'm going to press the play button. Accept the agreement. So here I'm going to select a server. I'm going to create a warrior, a character, and I'm going to skip the cutscene. And now this account is created. So as you can see, I've entered the game and in terms of graphics options, I've basically selected the low graphics option and we're getting around 100 FPS in this initial starting area. If you want to find out how to turn on this DXVK HUD, this is available for DirectX 11 games. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for this particular HUD. 
and it'll give you a very good indication of the frame rate. So this is just the beginning area, and I know that it's not necessarily indicative of the rest of the game, however, it's a pretty good start. What's quite cool as well is that if you put this game into windowed mode, you can basically switch it into any resolution that you want, and it's just gonna resize for you. So generally, I'd say that running this on the low graphics setting is gonna be best for playing this particular MMO. When I turned it up to high, it started to stutter quite a lot, what I'm going to do is to leave a link for my full gameplay recording at the top of the video description so that you can check it out. I've tested it both on low and also on high as well at 1080p. So it's a real shame that Guild Wars 2 has dropped its Mac port and the only way to get this running is going to be either through this compatibility layer through crossover which uses Wine or actually you can run this game through a virtual machine software. So if you check out the link at the top of the description as well, you can also find my Parallels Virtual Machine Software Guide where you can actually run Guild Wars 2 inside Windows 11 ARM. So I actually have gameplay footage, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I actually think that the crossover version is going to work substantially better, especially now that it uses the DirectX 11 backend, the actual stuttering is a little bit better than on Parallels. Also, you could potentially upgrade the Altered VK and DXVK versions, which are included within Crossover 22. This is not supported by Code Weavers, however. However, this has improved performance for plenty of other games, for example, God of War, etc. You should definitely test that out on a dummy account. Don't use your main account when testing these multiplayer fixes because they might be interpreted as cheating. That's especially if the developers do not recognize that version of DXVK or Altered VK that you're using. Anyway, overall, Guild Wars 2 seems to work really well on the Apple Silicon hardware. Despite the fact that we're using this compatibility layer and we're also making use of the Rosetta 2 translation layer, which is translating this from x86 to ARM instruction set. And there are plenty of other games that make use of the same type of technology to work on Apple Silicon Macs. If you'd like to find out more about games that are compatible for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List. I'll leave a link to this in the description. This contains a really long list of games which are compatible through the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, whether it's running natively through ARM, through Rosetta 2, or one of the compatibility layers such as Crossover or Parallels. So please check it out. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Please also make sure to check out the Apple Gaming Wiki YouTube channel. This contains a playlist of game benchmarks that I performed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, and there are literally hundreds of games which I've tested, so please check this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. So anyway, that is how you get Guild Wars 2 running on Apple Silicon hardware through the compatibility layer crossover. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.